We're joined now by two of the survivors, Beth Davids and Paul Chung. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Beth, I can see you're a little banged up there. I hope you're feeling okay. Tell us what happened. Um, so, I mean, um, it was, I, I take this trip between Philly and New York um, pretty often. I mean, at first it was just a regular ride. I was on the phone. Um, I hung out with my friend. About that time it felt like we were taking just like a wide turn to the right. Um, and then like it kind of, it, it just like started to like roll over and it was just dark um, and you could just like there's just bodies and seats and everything kind of falling around around me and I mean it was like kind of that slow mo motion moment I was in the third car and it actually tipped to the side um, so the only way to get up was actually up through the side which is the roof and then the car started to fill up with smoke um, so I mean I remember someone saying very calmly um, um, you know, we need to get out of this car. So we climbed up to the seats as a ladder. So we had to actually slide off the side of the, um, out the car, which is like a good eight feet. Paul, let me ask you, I mean, it seemed to happen in slow motion. You first felt the shakes and then everything went haywire. Yeah, I was at the back of the train. And again, similar to Beth's story, I was playing around with my phone, you know, streaming Netflix and suddenly, you know, the car as, as if someone had slammed the brake and suddenly everything started shaking really hard and the whole train went dark. And then I saw some passenger also escaping from the window. Beth, this must have been the most horrifying thing you've ever been through, but it also seemed like people kept their heads about them. You just want to hug the other survivors next to you, to wanting to help people, to just connecting with others, to like just thinking about the logistics of like, I don't have a wallet right now, um, I don't have a shoe. A lot of the passengers were, were very brave. You know, they came out very collected. Yeah. You know, while in shock, you know, everything happened really orderly. It wasn't a massive chaos. We're glad you're both okay right now. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I can't believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, we saw them hugging right there. Paul and Beth weren't traveling together, but they actually did used to work together at the Associated Press. We're mm -hmm. glad they're both okay. Mm -hmm. Have hug like that. Musician Yamin Allworld was in the fourth car. He captured video helping people off that train, and he joined us just a short time ago. Please tell us how you're doing this morning. Yes, I had some minor injuries uh, to my leg, actually. And can you tell us, Yamin, you know, I mean, what happened? What did you see? What did you feel? What did you hear? It just felt like our car was leaving the ground. I started floating in the air, and I just felt my body lifting up and going forward over seats and started toppling. And when did help arrive and how did you get out? We could see fairly well. I turned the light on on my cell phone so that we could see better and we checked on other people. Um, there was a lady stuck in between a chair, so we helped her out. You know, I was close to the front of the car, mm -hmm. so we just walked towards the door and um, I just held the light up so people could see and get out. And you were posting videos, and we heard in your videos, Yamin, you helping people and just doing anything that you could. Many people would like to think that they would act the same way in a situation like that. Was it just an instinct that kicked in with you? Yes, um, I didn't have to think twice about it. It was just, you know, I was there. I was an able body, and so I was just trying to do what I could to help people. Uh, I know that you MC for Quest Love, and he sent out a really nice tweet about you overnight. He said, thank God that you are here to literally hmm. see another year. Today is your birthday? Yes, yes. Today is my birthday, yes. And I know that you're feeling <laughs> very, very grateful this morning, aren't you? Yes, I'm so grateful, yes. Yeah, I mean, thank you. I know uh, you and others and ourselves included are, are thinking of those who were not as fortunate. Um, but thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. You take care. Thank you. Thanks for having me. God <laughs> bless everyone. God bless. Peace. Peace.